nervous system. The nervous system comprising of the brain, the spinal cord and the nerves controls all the activities of our body. In addition to the skull, the space between the skull and the brain is filled with a fluid. This acts as a shock absorber and protects the brain from shocks and jerks. The brain is responsible for not only all our body movement but also our thoughts, feelings and memories. It controls all our sense organs. It receives information from the different sense organs through the nerves. Nerves are made up of fibers. They are like telephone wires. The nerves from the head and neck join the brain directly. The nerves from other parts of the body join the spinal cord. The spinal cord starts from the brain and runs down the center of our back. The nervous system controls all the other systems of our body. The excretory system In the digestive system, the large intestine throws out the solid waste through the anus. In the respiratory system, we discovered how the lungs throw out the gaseous waste like carbon dioxide and water vapour. Now let us learn how the liquid waste is thrown out of our body through the kidneys and the skin. The urinary system. The liquid waste produced in the body is carried to the kidneys by blood vessels. The urinary system comprises two kidneys which are bean shaped, two ureters or tubes which carry the liquid that is urine produced in the kidneys to the urinary bladder. Urine passes out of the body through the urethra. The kidneys remove the waste products, salt and water from the blood. Drop by drop, this liquid, that is urine, gets collected in the bladder. When the bladder is full, a sensation of urination is produced. The urethra, which starts from the bladder, carries the urine outside the body. Urine is 96% water. The skin our skin removes the liquid waste in the form of sweat. Sweat is produced by the sweat glands present beneath the skin. The sweat glands are coiled tube-like structures. These tubes open on the surface of the skin through sweat pores. The amount of waste given out by the skin is small. But it is mainly sweat which keeps the body temperature constant. Half a litre of sweat is produced in 24 hours. Under normal conditions, even when we are not perspiring. Now we know how important each system of our body is.